I have come here not to sell anything. I have come here to give which is rightfully yours, my fellow masters and distinguished guests. Good morning. Good morning. We, a group of sedentary friends, used to catch up on a weekend to play cricket for generally two hours. One day we all got excited because all the matches were a close contest and we played for more than three hours that day. After finishing our matches, we all went back home and refreshed ourselves. After taking a bath, as usual, I looked at my cell phone. I was shocked, deeply shocked. One of my friends who had played cricket with us had passed away. We all, we all went to his home and the doctor told that though that he had died of an heart attack because of over exertion of physical activities and heart attack. As per Committee for Disease Prevention and Control in Atlanta in the US every year 6 lakh 10,000 people die of heart attack and one fourth of them die due to overexertion of physical activities. We friends started talking, do we know the stamina level what we have? Do we know how much we can play? Questions. We had these questions to them ourselves to which we all didn't know answers. After this particular incident, I was moved. I started thinking, Abhishek, do you know your stamina level? Do you know how much you can play? I started consulting doctors, physical trainers and read reports. As per BBC report, persons who do not do physical activities regularly are prone to diseases like cardiac arrest, high blood pressure and so on. Even the thin people who don't do physical activities regularly are prone to these diseases. I did my groundwork, searched a bit and then came to four mantras for a healthy and fit well-being. This is based on my assessment and have come here today to give you the four mantras. The first mantra being know yourself, know your stamina. Start by doing a workout for just half an hour a day for three days in a week. Gradually increase it to five days a week. As per most of the reports, in including the Mayo Clinic report, which is available in the website, in that website, if you do five-day workout, that is more than sufficient for your body. But how will you know whether your stamina has then increased or not? The real cycling force behind stamina is more. As in, more you do, the more body knows that tomorrow you are going to come and do the same thing. Your muscle memory will then start to build in and they will be ready for it tomorrow. The second mantra is doing a mix. Doing a, doing a mix of both cardio and muscular activities. The real magic of physical well-being starts when you do a mix of both these. Cardio helps you to jog, run, bicycle, but you need muscles for that, don't you? So once 
you start doing muscular activities, the muscular stamina in you gets to the increase of. The third mantra for all these activities, you need to, you need your calves, energy, have high protein food, bowl some green food and plenty of water. Because that will give you the zest to continue this up. The last thing to complete this jigsaw puzzle is to have a good sleep. Once you have a good sleep, your growth hormone increases and you have the muscles getting rebuilt, repaired and rejuvenated so that you have the courage to do yourself even tomorrow. On a personal level, I had crossed a century in weight more than a year ago. I, I at the start used to do 2 kilometers jog in say 20 minutes. Now, now I can jog for 5 kilometers in less than 50 minutes. So my fellow Toastmasters, it does not depend what we have done. But it depends what we are going to do for a physical fit being. Always remember, know your stamina, do a mix of both cardio and muscular activities, have healthy food and have a good sleep. The pain what you are going to have today for the physical activities will be your strength tomorrow. When are you going to start it? Day Modi.